We're back for another what the f are you wearing? You look like if Bubbles went as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for Halloween. An opposing coach called me Bubbles in the middle of the game. How old was he and how old were you? Because this seems weird. He was like 38, I was 14. <laughs> we, we, we had to shake hands after the game. He's like, good game. I was like, thanks for calling me Bubbles. Okay, so I know Corwin's ready for this quiz because I've never seen him redder. What do you mean redder? You know why I think you're red? Because ye we just dropped the new vlog series, which this is this is your work. It just went up. Hopefully you've already watched it. And if you haven't, Corwin, what is it? We made a guy that we work with look like an idiot by giving him like the worst possible hockey gear. Jesse stuff. It wasn't dusty. I don't understand this argument. Yeah, like <laughs> it's like 90% Jesse's gear. And we were just like, yeah, he looks like a you guys have been asking for more Bar Down videos, and we hear you. We're trying to do more stuff. The Bar Down vlog, going Bar Down. Check it out if you haven't already watched it. Episode 1, more on the way. Like this video, subscribe to the TSN channel, but also give us a follow on Bar Down Instagram. Sorry, I sounded like an advertising person there. <laughs> Let's get it started. This well, is season 2. This is season 2. So this is like Fortnite, we go season by season. Oh. Grady, welcome, or as we like to call you, West Coast Bureau. Thank you. Like a diehard Canucks fan. Mm -hmm. Season 2. You ready to hear some changes? There's a bear in the woods, let's go. There's now 10 questions. So Luca really got to you, eh? Why? Because he can't make it through 12 questions. He definitely was lobbying for this the whole time. You still have that bonus round, and here's the kicker. That 10th question is now called the final boss. You wanna be a the final boss. It is hard. If you make it to the last one, you're not meant to get it right. It's just insanely hard for no reason. Corwin has the most championships right now. I should get a Nashville Predators banner. <laughs> make it happen. Am I just... Is there, yeah. Is there gonna be music playing? Or like, Maybe. Oh, Maybe now. Maybe slower. Okay, so, do you know what we're doing here today? I have no clue. There's no props. I'm, I'm looking around the room. We're doing a quiz. Quiz on NHL logos. Let's do it. You know what? I got a great hockey knowledge and, uh, a, I'm ready a, to go here. A great hockey knowledge. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> Not even grammatically correct. How many strikes? This is one thing that hasn't changed. Oh my That's god. That's one strike, baby. Okay, I've made it as far as I can with these glasses. Come on! Please take them off. If you say so. Let's go! <laughs> Sorry, G-Bone. <laughs> For those who don't know, G-Bone sits directly behind this wall and hates all of us because we make a lot of noise in here. Hates he probably doesn't hate us, but... All of us? Probably just Jesse. Let's get it started. Let's go. Question one. Back in 2008, the Blues introduced an alternate jersey that incorporated a St. Louis landmark into their front crest logo. What was the landmark? This is the circle jersey, right? I like, I can describe it for you. Bridge building thing. It's that arch. It's the gateway arch. That would be the gateway arch. I think it's called the gateway arch or something. I don't know, an arch! Ooh, it's the big arch. The gateway arch. Oh, okay. So I'll take your answer okay. there. You I knew like what it. it was. Jesse thought it was a bridge. So he got out on that question? No. In what way did you ever think that was a bridge? I don't know. Why just... would someone need to cross that? I don't know. It goes, I don't know. Just <laughs> next, next question. Question two. List six NHL primary logos from past or present that incorporate an animal interacting with a hockey stick. An animal interacting with a hockey stick. Okay. Penguins. Pittsburgh Penguins. The Pittsburgh Penguins. San Jose Sharks. Uh, Florida Panthers. My favorite, Panthers, right now. Arizona Coyotes. The old Arizona Coyotes jerseys. The Ducks one, the jumping guy. <laughs> the Mighty Ducks. I love that era of jerseys where they were just like, we're gonna kind of try a bunch of crazy sh What if I put an entire cartoon frame as the entire logo <laughs> on the front? What if on our jersey, he's wearing our jersey? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I got five. The Thrashers. They had one with a hockey stick, didn't they? Does the Thrashers like... The Atlanta Thrashers? The Thrashers? I'll say that one. Suck it, Jets. They... Yeah, Kovalchuk's still your leading scorer of your franchise. You suck. I mean, they took their team. That seems pretty fair. <laughs> I like your shirt, by the way. Oh. Omega! Kenny Omega. Even better, you're wearing the shirt of a guy who's from Winnipeg. Okay, it's Canada. I guess... It's not Winnipeg. That team victory really got to you, huh? No, it didn't! Big I fan. hate Winnipeg! I... Big fan of Winnipeg. Moving on to question three. Which letter has a hockey stick incorporated into it in the Capitals' original logo? Which letter? Which letter has a hockey stick? 
original logo so that I guess you're not going to answer questions. But Nope, that's your job. <laughs> huh. Now I got a picture of what the Capitals original logo looked like. I'm so smart. Real smart. What are you doing with your hands? I'm like drawing the logo out in my mind. I know this is a trick question because it looks like it'd be the L, but it's actually the T. It's the T. I think it is the T. I'm going to go with T. Is it the T? It's the T. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, that's amazing. I was so sure that we were just going to get rid of you. Number four. It's only happened one time in NHL history, but one franchise decided to use their state bird as a logo. Which team was it? State bird. Is that a thing? People have state birds? They have state mammals, is what I learned. Why? Why? So it's got to be a team that has a bird. Penguin is not a bird, correct? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said correct because I wanted to make uh, sure. Incorrect. Oh, it is a bird? Okay. Of course it's a bird. They don't fly. Okay. I don't think it's them. I don't think their state bird is a penguin. Pennsylvania. They don't fly. Yeah, no, I know that, but that doesn't mean it's not a bird. That state bird. Ooh, state bird. State bird. It seems so easy, but when you're in the moment like this. I am shooketh. It's a little different when you're yeah, sitting there, right? the pressure is definitely on. The pressure's really on when you don't know that a penguin's a bird. My definition of a bird is penguins don't fly, they're don't, not birds. You don't know what a dog looks like, you don't know what a bird oh looks gosh. like. Give me Nothing. a guess, Grady. Uh, the Atlanta Thrashers. Is it the Atlanta Thrashers? Thrashers? Atlanta Thrashers. I don't know what the bird was, but they had a bird. Oh, we were talking about whatever the hell that bird is for the Thrashers. I'll go with that. It's funny, you say that as a joke. That is actually the correct answer. Wow! We're on to question five. The Carolina Hurricanes have a flag on the front of their new alternate jersey. Mm -hmm. What is the flag in reference to? Okay, so I feel like everyone's gonna get this one right. It was in the comments in the last video. I read the comments, I know! Thank you to the commenters because they corrected us uh, very feverishly. It's a hurricane warning flag. It's for hurricane alerts. It's like hurricane warnings. Bridging the two Carolinas together? Mm -hmm. It's a hurricane warning flag. Can I get my phone? I want to thank Go the ahead. guy. Uh, Austin O'Donnell. Thanks, man. We feel bad for the people of Carolina because we're not trying to make fun of your hockey uh, team. But the jersey is ugly. Why do you want that on a jersey? I'm just not a big fan. It's yeah. nothing against Carolina. Yeah. Actually, their team is so fun this year. So exactly. Like, still think it's weird that something that just completely destroys your state is your team. But anyways. Absolutely. Like, cyclones, tornadoes. Stop. Why we got to do natural disasters for teams? No. <laughs> Wait, avalanche. Oh, f <laughs> oh man. We're on to the bonus round. You know how it works. 30 seconds on the clock. The second I stop reading the question. If you get it, it's like a free pass. Name three teams that have featured the name of their city written diagonally across the front of their jersey in the absence of a logo. Nobody likes these trash things. Uh, I do. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Penguins. Guess the teams. Oh really? You like the Sens one? Colorado. Colorado. Avalanche did it too. That I one. said city. Oh. True. Idiot. And New York. Rangers. So Pittsburgh is one. How many do I need? 13. Hmm. Colorado. 10 seconds left on the clock. 10 seconds? What the hell? No, that's a lie. Maybe you shouldn't have wasted all that time being a jack off. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Mm. I get championship added time. Mm. Well, looks like Corin doesn't get a bonus. And oh, oh, is this going to feel good for Rangers fans? It oh was the New God. York Rangers. What? How did I get that wrong? Uh. Uh, you know, I'm not even a Rangers fan, and that felt great. Not a bad bonus. Hey, Marilyn. Well, that's about enough light for me for one day. Question six. For the first and only time since the original six era, one NHL team decided to introduce a primary front crest logo that features a human being holding a hockey stick. Which team did this back in 1995. Okay, so it's not an animal holding a stick. Mm -mm. It's, it's a, a human. It's a person. Mm. Oh, got it. So easy, because that logo is the best. It stands out. Human logo. Would this be the Islanders and their fisherman logo? Fisherman, yes! Oh, the fishermen. The New York Islanders. <laughs> Z hates this logo. I can't believe you gave me an opportunity to use it against you. Luke, I hope you got that one right. If you didn't, you're an absolute coward. Bring back the fisherman! I like it's a it. bad Ooh, logo. That's a real head in, baby. Next time, catch one for me. 
We got it. Islanders fans were also very displeased with us from the Jersey video. Again, we're not trying to target you guys either. I was also a target of some of your harassment because I chirped Anders Lee. I know he's a 40 goal scorer. I'm not going to dive too deep into this, but why do you think he was? Was it the guy that used to be on your team that played center for him? Two words for you, Jonathan Chichu. <laughs> Moving on. Question seven. While fans sure seem to like the now defunct Nordiques logo, not a lot of people seem to know what is actually pictured in it. What is it? Throwback to when Ice Cube sat in this very couch, made the remarks like, what is a Nordique? I don't even know what that is. Ice Cube, not all knowing on things ice. <laughs> they need some work on my logo. What's pictured within it? I used to play for a team called the Winnipeg Monarchs and we had the same logo as the Nordiques. Had an undefeated season in Bantam 1, went to the Westerns, got our <laughs> whooped by Ty Ratty and Airdrie. Who do you think you are? It's an igloo, right? A butterfly or a whale? Is it a whale? <laughs> Isn't it an igloo? An igloo. Okay, well, I never would have guessed that in a million tries, so... What a random logo. Apparently, they were gonna change their logo. What was it gonna be? It was like a wolf? Question eight. Question eight. No safeties for you. I don't need safeties. Who do you think I am? While it was never official, what did fans and haters call the horse that used to be featured as the logo on the front of the Flames jersey? What did they call him? <laughs> It was a cool logo. I'll, I'll give him that. But I, I have no clue what the name was. I know his name. I've seen it. Go on in, John. Johnny Gale. So, uh, you know, you want to help him with this last one? Maybe if he knows yeah, it, you can continue. My best. This is a functioning office. I think people don't really realize uh, that. Where are you working on tonight? Jay and Dan. You know, those guys. You're a story editor, right? That's right. You're going to need to be a trivia aficionado here. What is Horse Face's name? know it. But you don't. No, I do. I actually do. I wrote a post on it. What did they, what did they call it? I'm choking. Let's call it the Bronco. Not the Bronco. All right, now I'm going to need two people to leave the room instead of one. <laughs> we bid you farewell, Mr. Z. <laughs> we bid you farewell. Until next time. Later, DZ. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I actually do know this one. I always thought of it because like in Pokemon, Blastoise was the water guy, but in then in the other thing I like, Taki, Blasty is the fire horse. That is correct. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Because at their lowest moments, champions rise to the occasion. Here's a new quiz question. People you'll never find on a Wheaties box. Luca Celebrate. Why? Smokey, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you definitely don't know because it's not Smokey. What is it? I know Ooh. it too. I know it too. Burn. What is it? Blasty. Yes! Blasty, that stupid f***ing horse. Well, you're out of here. All right, question number nine. Who is the only team to ever feature a hockey rink as part of their primary logo? Ooh. And remember, you're out of your strike here. Yeah, this is this is the last last line of uh, defense. I gotta answer this question. Not the Sens, not the Leafs, not the Bruins, not the Habs. That's a toilet seat. I don't know. I can't even guess. Like, I'll give one guess. Are they a playoff team? Uh... I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> you always gotta ask, right? Boston Bruins. Did they ever use a rink? That ain't it. <laughs> okay. That ain't it. I'm out. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Is it? Uh... I have no. F an idea. I guess I'll go Vancouver. I'm gonna slowly reveal the answer to you. Because <laughs> I have the logo here. Oh, f that. Are you kidding? That's not a rink. Okay, that is what I ended up choosing. Like, that's the one I was like, maybe that? That's a rink? That's a rink. And again, I've never seen someone get <laughs> something right and then be pissed off about it. <laughs> You're turning me into stressy. So, Corwin, even though you were pissed off that you made it here, <laughs> you have made it to the final boss. So you've made it to the final boss, the 10th question in our quiz. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. How many different colors have the Maple Leafs featured on their front emblem since the start of the original six era, not including winter classics or alternates? Oh, and name the colors. Since the original six. Any color that's ever been featured on the front crest, the front logo of the jersey, not the side. Blue. That's one. One. Uh, white. Two. That's two. Good luck to you from here. You said no alternates, no nothing, so St. Pat's doesn't count. Leafs logos. What the f The final boss is unforgiving. <laughs> They had like a like like beige font at one point. It's right? like a off-white, don't worry, I'm not, that's rude. These are distinctly different 
colors on the logo. Since you're struggling, I'm gonna give you one clue and one clue only. It's only one other color. So you might as well just guess. Hey, I'm not guessing green. It would be too obvious. I'm not gonna guess red. I don't think they'd ever do that to me. Uh, actually, maybe it could be red. I will go with, I will guess. So three colors. And I think the third color is red. Logging it in? Yeah. Corwin? In episode one of season two, you're the winner. What? <laughs> yeah. When, when did they wear red? Actually, can't wait. I, can I make one guess? I assumed it was something to do. They probably had some like army type deal. It was for patriotic reasons. People aren't sure if they actually ever wore these jerseys on ice, but the jerseys were made potentially just for pictures, promotionally for the 1947-48 season, but they exist. Damn. It did happen. That's red gotta be lettering. a limited edition jersey. Yeah. Red lettering on the jersey. Wow. It feels good. It feels good to win on a Leafs question too. Corin, your two favorite words in the English language. Winner's circle, holy. Welcome back. This is huge, off to quite the season. So, I don't know, uh, I guess we're getting some comments that I need to start on some more stuff again. I don't know, it seems natural just to do it to logos now. I, I certainly did not ask for you to <laughs> I saw some comments, I saw you out there. I've never written a list on this one, but like, I'm gonna go worst logos in the league. Oh, the Ducks one, the foot, get that the out of dodge the blue jackets the uh, bug logo yuck the penguins logo that they used in the uh sydney crosby era like when he first started they have so many good jerseys and that one's so trash the colorways on it are like it looks like somebody bleached their old jersey trash and the worst logo of all time my dopey predator <laughs> like just just what happened i just have so many questions uh if anybody knows who designed that please have them reach out to me I would like to do an interview. Woo!